record. It's recording already. I know, I'm trying to... I need it. I'm a short person, so... Okay. Three, two, one. Hi guys, this is Leah with OC Homestead, and of course, as Dawn said in the last video, I get to do the next video, so here I am. Uh, just bear with me. I'm going to go check on the piggies, our little two bacon seeds, as they are called. Uh, they've definitely been an experience. I've learned a lot, and learning what they like and don't like, what they don't want to eat, what they won't eat. I know they don't like citrusy foods, and they don't like big onions. They will, and potatoes, raw potatoes. They will not eat raw potatoes. So I just turned on the water for them to give them a mud pit. So let's go see them real quick in their mud pit. I know I'm walking at an angle here, but bear with me. Okay, whipping around my corner here. Here's a little bit of their pig pen. And there they are. Hey guys. Just call them guys. See, they got a pool now. Let me see if you can see them. Yep, there they are playing in the water. Does that feel good? Yeah, that feel good. Hi there. Well, hi there. And see, he always comes up and greets me. Scratches. Does that feel good? I do have some treats for you guys. So we're gonna go walk over to the other side of the pen because we don't want food. We don't want food. Sorry about the moving things around here. Don't make you guys dizzy. Don't want to give them their treats near their actual food to help reduce the fly population. So we're going to walk around over this way to the corner and see when the pigs is already meeting me. I've gotten them trained down here on the corner. Again, sorry my videoing is crooked. But all right, we're over here in the most westerly part of the pig pen. Set you down. See the big guys. Can't see. Making sure that my video camera is on them. And I'm still getting used to this camera thing, so that's something I gotta work on. Okay, there's my guys. See, they know that I have a treat for them. So, here we go. I got you guys some goodies. You ready? You ready? Back up a little bit. Back up, back up. There we go. We got watermelon. Got a little bread. Some eggshells. And some tomatoes that we had gotten from our tomato plant in the front yard that's overtaking the front half of my house, the other house. And some carrots. Hey, be nice. But yeah, I got them trained to come over on this side of the, of the uh, pig pen to feed them. So again, I reduce the flies by their actual other things. And then they fight over stuff. Typical siblings. But anyways. Hey, you two. Be nice. They act like little brothers. Oh, wait. That's because they are brothers. <laughs> one was in the... One was number five, fifth born, and the other one was number six. Of course, as you know, there's notches on their ears. The notches tells what litter they were from. 
and then the on the right ear or left ear in the right ear the notch tells them what order they were born so see if you can kind of see their notches on their ears while they're eating along You show your ears? Maybe. Maybe. But anyways, that was something that interesting I learned. That they do the notches when they're first born to determine. So, like I said, one is fifth born and one is sixth born in the litter. And uh, they are a Tamsworth breed. They actually have papers, but we're not going to be, you know, breeding ourselves because they're going to be feeder pigs. So, dress myself a little bit again. Not quite as good as this with Don as Donald is, so bear with me. I'll eventually get there. But, as you see, we've done some more clearing with the property behind. We had some help and then today they were clearing out a spot for a tower. We're having a tower installed next week because well we can't get Wi-Fi without it. There's too many trees. Once we get past the trees then we can get internet out here which is kind of crucial with work and everything for the guys and also having internet it's nice to have and uh, so we're kind of putting it in this I mean, sun might be in the way let me walk back over here okay kind of can see behind me making that clearing over there you see we still have a lot of trees and then we're working on getting another home out here for us to move out here that will be another video for another day. But anyways, that's what I do with the pigs. I give them their mud pit and give them a treat here and there. And they really enjoy that. Oh, that's a wolf spider on the ground. Finding all kinds of creatures out here. Lots and lots of frogs. Lots and lots of lizards. Oh, and then here's our latest guest that we have here on the property, which looks like, oh boy, looks like she has a, looks like she has an, see if I can zoom in, sorry about that. Looks like she has an egg sac. One of those orb, orb garden spiders. Pretty cool to have. Just not sure if I want the babies this close to the cabin. So, yeah, cause she's, cause her her initial web is over here. If you can see my hand, am I even in screen? No, I'm not. Over, over here. Sorry about that. Anyways, she has moved away from her net, her her web. So. Zoom back out. Anyways, thank you for coming with me today. Again, I still got to work on my camera skills. Oh, and one thing I'll show you guys really quick. We had gotten some railroad ties so we could create a barrier along the side of the cabin and right here because ever since the ground had been cut to build to put the cabin in the uh, when it rains water seeps through and seeps down and it can create a problem with erosion so this is to protect the cabin and anything on the land so once we get our other house out here we'll be lining the driveway with it too of course before long we'll put grass and sod so but anyways, here's a little bit of the cabin in front. I made a little little sign thing for my parents for fall. 
And uh, anyways, so there's a little quick look. We'll eventually get the porch painted, but we wanted to get more stuff done before we start painting. Oh, and then there's my other half. Wave, other half. Wave, other half. Hello. So, all right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you the next round. Thumbs we'll up. See ya. Remember to subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, and all the other fun stuff. You have a nice day. Bye.